Well, the national government plans to construct the 6.1 billion shilling dual carriageway that will link Mombasa and Mariakani all in an effort to ease traffic congestion and boost connectivity. President Uhuru Kenyatta commissioned the road project, which has been jointly funded by the Kenyan government and the Africa Development Bank. Etienne's Abia Gina has more. Transportation of goods between Mariakani and Mombasa is set to improve after the government unveiled plans to construct a dual carriageway that will increase traffic flow and create business opportunities along the Nairobi-Mombasa transport corridor. So, end of the day, I think uh, this investment will open up completely the entry and exit uh, of Mombasa you know, to visitors, to business people. And we believe that uh, Mombasa will have a new look you know, going forward. Infrastructure is a very, very expensive affair. And it cannot be able to be funded, specifically, I say, from government exchequer, that one. So the government has to look for money elsewhere. So in the past, of course, we have had development partners which are contributing close to about 43% in terms of uh, uh, funding uh, the infrastructure budget. And then uh, about 47 actually comes from uh, the exchequer. But still, we have not been able to meet, as you put it rightly, the deficit in terms of what is required. The dual carriage roadworks will be executed by the Third Engineering Bureau of China City Construction Group Limited under supervision of the Kenyan National Highways Authority. That area is an area with a very high potential and uh, as Kenyans we need to see to it that we invest a lot for purpose of ensuring that that area can also give back uh, in terms of uh, leasing resources for this country. Dueling of the highway will cover at least 11.3 kilometers starting from Mombasa to terminate at Kwajomvu. Expansion of the current single two-way road to a dual carriageway will create additional six lanes. With the increased trade between Kenya and her neighboring countries, the completion of road infrastructure continues to improve the business landscape as the cost of doing business is made cheaper. We have to open up the rural areas, which again, will be able to stimulate the economy within the country. So it is on that basis that we roll out the program, uh, which is now ongoing, and uh, we, know, we call it uh, low-volume seal roads. And uh, I'm happy again because some of the projects which... You go to any part of the country today, in the village, you see there are ongoing kind of projects. So I would say this is a major kind of success. And, uh, but you should be able to see the impact, positive impact in this country within the next two to three years once we complete most of these projects. Other projects lined up in the port city of Mombasa include dueling of the port reeds and more international airport access road, Mombasa Port Area Road Development Project, the Dongo Kundu bypass, as well as the rehabilitation of the Bachuma Gate. Actually, we have laid down the necessary kind of foundation, and I'm putting it across again. Watch out this space. Within the next two, three years, you luckily feel the major kind of impact. But already, people from Northeastern, people from Taita, people from Mombasa eh, County, people from Malindi, they are already feeling the kind of impact in which the new roads are bringing into their day-to-day -day kind of lives. Although the standard gauge railway will complement the cargo of tech business, trucks will still remain vital. Abiyagina, Ketan Business.